Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me today. We are going to have so, so, so much fun with Canva. And we are going to learn about how to make some really fun pages. I'm going to share with you some of my favorite hacks, tips, and tricks. Guys, it's just going to be awesome. So, so let's go back down really quick to our check boxes because this is one of my Man, how many times have I, is anyone counting how many times I've said, like, this is one of my favorite things, because it really is. It's all one of my favorite things. So let's go ahead and make a checkbox. So I wanted to show you some of the other ones. These are all ones that I just threw together that I designed. Um, I love gold things. I don't know if you've picked up on that through any of my branding. I love gold things. This is, I think, um, a paid for product inside of Canva is the, or paid. If you have Canva Pro versus the free version, you can get these. Um, there's a lot of different elements that you can get if you have the paid for plan. That was the word I was looking for. Um, so I wanted to show you guys there's some things that you can do to make these your own little pages. So this is how I started was I picked, I'm going to zoom in because it's really hard to see. I picked one. Come on. Yeah, but I picked one of these check boxes so that you can see what it's going to look like. I took this guy right here at the, this guy, whoop, this fella. I made this guy. I was like, you know what? This one really speaks to my soul. It seems like it would be really easy for a person to check off, to be able to see it, acknowledge that it is a check box and then go from there. So all I did was I, we're going to, for example, we're going to, highlight all of it that we want. We're going to command G, which turns it into a group. And then we are going to command C and take it over to this page. We're going to command V, which is paste. And then we are going to drag it to be the size that we want. And because it's going to be in a little check boxy like this, we're going to make it that same size. Now, this is where it gets really, <clears throat> sorry, this is where it gets like a little bit confusing, but I promise you're not going to hate me once I'm done. So I've added my line again over in lines and shapes. Super simple. Um, I'm going to make the weight two so that you can see it, but it's not going to be super thick. Oops. I said two so that you can see it. And now I'm going to get rid of this guy. I get rid of you. And now I'm going to ungroup this one because we want we're going somewhere, I promise. Once we have this alignment where we want it, um, I like to align things so that there's space, um, so that there is, here, we're gonna zoom out just a touch so that you can see it, um, so that there's a little bit space in between so that you can see the delineation between the checkbox and the line itself, but you can still see the checkbox so that it's cute. Um, and then once we've gotten the spacing so that we like it, we're going to ungroup this guy and then regroup these guys together. And here's why. Remember the tidying up thing that I talked about? We're going to copy and paste this whole thing because if we hadn't grouped them together, um, it would really mess things up if you go to tidy them up. I mean, if you really want to, I can show you what it looks like, but it is a hot mess. So what we want to do is I start usually with the top and the bottom. So let's say that I have, this is the bottom one. This is where I want the bottom to end. We are going to copy and paste these guys. We're gonna highlight more of them and paste more of them, scrolling it on down. And we're just gonna do it again for good measure. That should probably fill up the whole page now. And no, I don't have an exact science to this. <laughs> it's literally like, does this look okay? Okay, ready? Hot mess to... <gasps> and they're all lined up. And they're all lined up. This is the perfect way to like make sure that you have everything lined up. And here's something else that's really cool is if you're like, you know, there's not enough space up here for a header. You can just get rid of this top block. And so now we've made this really cool checkbox page. And we started off with a bunch of different designs. You start with them bigger so that you can kind of design them and see what you like about it. If you really don't like this color, you can change it. And it's just, it makes it so easy. So we're going to scroll back up here. Whoop, we're going to get rid of some of these pages as we go. We're going to scroll back up here, grab this. Let's see. We're going to grab this guy, copy it, scroll back down here, because I want to make sure that the fonts stay the same throughout this entire thing. And we're going to move this here. And you want to give it 
let's see, a cool name. So let's say my cool therapist because I am a millennial and I'm not cool anymore, apparently. <laughs> so there we have it. And now we've we've got our background, which we are going to change in a minute. We have our title, we have our check boxes. This can be something where you are able to come in and fill things out. Now we're gonna duplicate this again because I am nothing if not a glutton for punishment. We're gonna delete everything and we're going to ungroup this because what I want to do here is add a text that's going to go on top of this line. So let's say that you want to give them a checklist that they're going to be able to fill out. Okay, so we're going to move this guy up a little bit so that it's kind of in the middle. Oh, move the text down a little bit so that it's right there. And we're going to say checklist item. Super simple, super kind of boring, but we're going somewhere, promise. So let's say that you want to make sure that you are giving them a, let's see, like a place to, or you want to give them like, let's say 10 things that they need to do, right? So we want to drag this over here, promise I'm going somewhere, make sure that that aligns with that because everything comes back to alignment. Bring that down just a little bit. That means that this has to come down just a little bit. Whoop. Okay, now we are going to group this. Whoops, did I group you? Did I? No. Oh, no, because I hit the wrong button. And now we are going to copy and paste and bring this all the way down to the bottom. And then we're going to do that again and again and again. Let's say, do we want 10? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, copy, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's right. We're going to highlight all of them. We are going to tidy them up. They went alignment in a different direction. Bring them to the center. And now we have our nice big checklist. Ta-da! And now that's a little bit too close. Whoops, the daisies. So now we're gonna bring that guy down because that was bothering me, sorry. And now we can just realign. We can just re-tidy up, ta-da. And so because we're gonna go off of this, all of this I want to continue to show you guys is building off of everything. Everything is just building up off of something that you've already created. And once we have these pages done, you can save them in Canva as like a, a template for yourself to create other things in the future. The whole thing about this is just to make things easy and fun for you. Because honestly, I don't know about you guys, but like if things are fun and easy, I'll do them. But if they're difficult and tedious, I'm not gonna do them. Which is why I had avoided Can Canva for so long. 